Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have an update from the Divine Masculine. We're going to find out how we're currently feeling about the Divine Feminine in the Twin Flame Collective. So let's get straight into this. So this is my masculine, okay, is feeling extremely regretful at the moment, okay, because they feel like that they've ruined their chance in here, um, completely ruined them, okay, like, they feel like this is over, um, they feel like they've ruined their chance in here of, like, happily ever after here, okay, um, they feel like they were getting offered this connection and they decided to be immature, okay, they were not thinking about the future when they came into their life. They also, um, it's like they assumed you were somebody that you weren't for some reason. Like they just had this assumption about people um, and they assumed that you were just the same. So this person feels like they've made the wrong choice here. Um, they could have, I don't know, I'm getting that they have like multiple people or they wanted to keep you as an option or they just weren't ready to settle down. They also did not see your value at the time I'm getting. This person was very stuck in their ego. Yeah, this person was thinking with their mind, okay? They were not thinking with their heart. They definitely were playing games here. This person had the habit of playing games um, with women, okay? Or men, depending on what gender you're dealing with. But they have a habit of playing games. They feel like everyone's the same. Um, they also feel like um, you could have been taken, okay, at the time, because I am seeing this, okay, and then I'm getting the king of swords, right, so I am getting at the time for this collective, when they met you, you were taken, or there was somebody else in the picture on your end, because they feel like you were unavailable, um, this person sort of tried to make you jealous, okay, because they felt like somebody else was in the picture when they first met you, Yeah, they thought they'd play some type of game, okay, because they felt a very strong connection um, to you, but they wanted to play some type of game, like, they wanted to, like, juggle, they wanted to, like, have options, right? So this person could have tried to make you jealous with somebody, they could have tried to bring somebody else into the picture, making you jealous, okay, because they thought you were taken, or they thought, even if you weren't taken, they thought somebody else was in the picture, like, um, so they thought that they played some type of game to try to make you jealous, um, or try to even manipulate you out of this connection, um, but it didn't work out for them, okay, and again, it's like they didn't, this person thinks they're really intelligent, okay, um, and they didn't think that you, like, they just always think they're smarter than everyone, okay? Because I am getting this is an intelligent person, but it's more like they like to play mind games with people, right? Um, you could be dealing with a Libra, you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. This person realizes that this connection is unlike any other connection they've ever felt. They feel like this is divinely guided, that spirit has brought this into their life. They're realizing your value as well, and they're realizing that they came off really immature because you're really smart and you've seen right through them, right? But they came off really immature because they tried to make you jealous, play games here. Um, 
because they thought that you were taken or something. They thought that you were unavailable. Yeah, so they feel like that they were handed this beautiful opportunity, okay, and they decided to play the game, okay, walk away from it. They weren't thinking about the future. They were being immature. Um, they definitely were being very defensive when it came to the connection and showing their feelings here. Yeah, like, this person does not like to show their feelings. They actually just like to control things. Like, you're dealing with somebody that's very controlling. Um, they also like to be in control, and if they're not, they like to walk away from situations. <clears throat> yeah, this person, um, again, what? What is going on here? I'm getting that they could have um, acted like somebody else with their twin flame or said like they were really acting like somebody else was like their soulmate, but they didn't even feel that about them. They felt that about you. They felt this way about you. And I'm getting that the, at first this person wasn't even, like, looking for a connection, right? At first they were, like, a player. They wanted multiple options. But then they realized that something inside them changed when they met you and now they want to commit. But they didn't realize that they wanted to commit to just you. So it's like they just found somebody and they committed to them and they started to, like, glamorize it and act like they were, like, this soul connection and they never felt this way about this person, which... Is not true, right? Again, dealing with somebody that wants to play games. Playing so many games. I am seeing in the public or like on social media or anything, um, they literally glamorize this other person, but they don't even feel that way about them. Like, I see there's no love there. It's like literally a lot of control. And they literally got in this connection to make you jealous. They... Right. This person intentionally tried to make you jealous and it didn't work out. Like, I'm getting you didn't even react. And the whole point of them doing this was for your reaction. Like, they wanted you to... They're used to people literally, like, going after them... You're dealing with somebody that's very attractive, okay? A divine masculine that's very attractive. You're dealing with somebody that usually has people coming to them. And if they don't, they end up manipulating them into coming to them. Like, this person feels like they literally are in control. Um, they didn't want to make a move. They wanted you to come to them. They wanted you to chase them. So they decided to try to manipulate you. And that did not work. Like, their tactics did not work. And now it's like, they're confused because, that, like, you walked away from this. You wanted no part of this. It's like this person's mad at you, too. They're mad at you because... <laughs> I don't know, this person has issued. I'm actually hearing that in my mind. Um... They're mad at you because they feel this way about you, like, and they feel stuck on you, and they feel like that they can't manipulate you, like, they feel like they've literally met their match, right? And they're mad because it's like they have all this love here, but they don't know how to express it, right? This person, they're used to controlling everything. I'm getting this person never had a connection where they felt love or it was like, true love, it's just always been codependent, controlling, and toxic, um, because this person, that's how, that's what they thrive on, you could be dealing with an Aries here, you could be dealing with a Gemini, I'm getting this person, like, they want you to be stuck on them because they feel like they're stuck on you, if that makes sense. Like, 
they're mad because I'm getting that you literally don't show anything. Like, they are so confused because they're trying to trigger you and you're not showing anything, right? It's like this person's really spiteful. Because I am getting that they've seen you with somebody else. Or even if you were not dating anybody else or anything like that, they've seen you with somebody else. Then they try to make you jealous. Um, and now they feel like it didn't work. Now they're mad because it didn't work because they still can't forget about you. This person frustrated themselves because at like they literally feel like this is a missed opportunity because of them. Because of what they were doing. Because they did not see things clearly when it came into their life. They caused so much imbalance here. Wow, they caused a lot of chaos. Okay, they, they're holding on to their feelings. You're dealing with somebody that's very stubborn. Holding on to their feelings. Not telling you how they feel. They prefer to sit in pain than to come forward and let you know, hey, like, I love you. Like, this person preferred to sit in pain, hold their feelings back. Um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This person's upset because they feel like it's a missed opportunity, but it's all their fault because they tried to make you jealous. They brought a third party into it. I am getting most, for most of you, they've already dropped this third party. Like, it was literally nothing to them. And they they realise now that all they've done is made themselves look manipulative. Made themselves look like somebody that is untrustworthy, okay? It's like, you are everything they've wanted. Like, they can't stop thinking. This person's very fixated on you. Um, I'm getting that all your traits tick their boxes. And it's like it's driving them crazy because they feel like they've driven themselves away from you. That you would not even give them the time of day. So now it's like, some of them may be even trying to find somebody that is like you. Like, literally the same, looks the same. Like, just exactly like you. Like, when you ask this person, um, you know, who's their perfect person, literally, it's you, right? It's you. Um, I'm hearing Monty. That could be a name or something. Let me know if that resonates. Yeah, this person... They caused so much chaos here, okay? So much drama by playing games. And they could have just been honest. But no, instead they tried to, tried to play games, make you jealous, make you try to chase them. Now they feel like they've taken a step back here. Um, this person tried to find somebody like you, okay? Like... Literally like a copy of you, but they're realizing that nobody is like you and they only want to be with you. They only want this connection here. But this person also realizes that they walked away. They caused conflict here. Um, they also come off as somebody that's very problematic, like very petty and problematic and they're realizing that, you know, you probably don't want to know who they are. But this person... Okay, so we've got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords again. And I don't know if I showed this at the start, but this came out the exact same way. Like, the Queen of Swords was reversed at the start, right? So I am getting that you're pulling your energy away. This person... Again, they, they didn't really... It's like when they met you, they just assumed like who you already were um, by maybe your age, maybe just I'm getting your age or something. Um, it's like they they assumed that you weren't as smart as you um, were. Okay, they also um, assumed that they could really put one over you, like they would be able to literally try to make you jealous and you would fall for it and you try to chase them or something. Um,
Yeah, but now this person realizes your worth, they're also very intimidated by you because they feel stupid now. Like, they feel dumb because of the way that they came off. It's like this person thought they were really smart, but they came off real immature. Um, and they realized that. Yeah, this person is realizing your value, right? Realizing your value. Realizing that, um, I'm hearing don't judge a book by its cover. So it's like, they were definitely judging you. Um, they realize now that, you know, you know, you got your shit together. Um, very independent, you know, you got your money together. There's also something, it's like, it's like you have these very high standards, okay? Yeah, this person's obsessing over you. No matter what this person does, they feel like they cannot, like, get away from the connection. It's like this person tried everything to cut this connection, get away from it. They're still obsessed with you. They feel like you guys are literally attached. This person's in a really bad place right now. Like, they're stuck on you. They also feel like they can't approach you. They want to, but they feel like that you would just reject them. Like, they've already come off as somebody that's immature. That, yeah. I am getting that they could have chose some type of, like, temptation, okay, over you, or, I don't know, I'm getting something about, like, they gave into temptation. It's like you've um, made this person, this person was definitely in their ego, um, but you definitely have humbled this person out, and you definitely are making this person realise that your worth and how they want to have you by their side, right? Like, they're not happy with anyone else. This person literally, like, king and queen coming out, king and queen, king and queen of cup coming out um, together, together, this person, like... They know you guys are meant to be together, but the way that they they did not know at the time, right? It's like this person's ready now, though. This person had an ego death. This connection had forced this person to have an ego death to really look at the way that they have come off as a person. This person's having a lot of clarity about the connection right now. They're stressed out, though. They're stressing out, like, this person cannot sleep. Spirit will not allow this person to forget about you. Like, this person constantly thinking about what they've done here. Um, this person feels like they've ruined things before they even began. Spirit is literally in this person's face, like, hey, like, look, 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 look. And this person's stressing out, like, they can't even sleep. They feel like it's a missed opportunity because... Yeah, they did not see things clearly, right? This person wants to communicate with you, though. They want to take action toward you. They're pretending that they're fine, but they just... All they want is a new beginning here with you. For some of them, they started a new beginning here with somebody else. Again, to try to trigger you. Um, this person could have literally been, like, a copy of you. Somebody that looked like you or something or had, like similar traits, right, um, and they're just, like, literally pretending that they're so happy for some of them, okay, or this could be in the past as well, um, they're pretending that they were happy, but this broke their heart because they can't stop thinking about you. Some of them may have tried to communicate with you, and I'm getting you may not have, like, responded to this person. Yeah, because it's, like, I am seeing that the Divine Feminines I'm picking up today, like, you guys are over it. You guys are literally over it. They could have communicated with you and you didn't reply. 
like it's like you're turning away from this like you know not the twin flame journey but it's just like you're turning away from this union romantic side of it because it causes you a lot of stress it's like you're stepping back into your power here and this person is like it's like they feel that shift that you've stepped back into your power that you don't want this anymore and now it's like they're really desperate okay to make some type of movement towards you yeah, look, guys, like, they're literally realizing they're in love with you. I'm getting you pulled your energy away, and now, oh, it hit them. I'm literally getting you don't even want this anymore. Now this person's literally obsessing over how are they going to come forward and let you know that they're in love with you? Like, how are they going to do this? Like, they need to do this, they they literally need to come forward, okay? They do not feel, at, like, they just don't feel at ease right now because some of them may not even realize why, but it's because you've pulled your energy away, okay? And I just seen 21, 12. You guys are mirroring each other. But you've pulled your energy away. Like, you're looking away. Yeah, and you've stepped into this energy, like, just this energy, this beautiful, strong energy where you're letting everything come to you. This person stuck on you. It's like, oh, it's like this person, like, they cannot sleep without, like, imagining that you're there or something. Guys, Emperor and the Empress, okay? Um, like, this Divine Masculine knows they want to be with you. Okay, so I'm getting that. I'm getting two situations right now. Some of these divine masculine may be single, but they just like to have different options. And some are in a marriage or a commitment. But either way, this divine masculine is ready to, like, step up their game and, like, literally change. And they want to start something with you. Yeah, this person... This has made them mature a lot. It's like they know what they want now. They're focused on getting it as well. This person doesn't feel like you're going to want to know who they are, though. They're trying to figure out how they can... I am getting this divine masculine maybe trying to, like, meditate or something. They're trying to figure out a plan on how to come forward. Yeah, because they don't want to get rejected. They get a rejection here. But they feel like they have to be with you. This divine masculine is going to try to do something a little bit sneaky to try to get your attention because they feel like if they straight up met you, you probably won't even respond. So they're going to try to like make somebody else contact you or something. Yeah, because they feel like they're blocked or something. You may have blocked this divine masculine. They may have like a family member or something that's going to contact you or a fake account because this person's determined to have a brand new beginning here with you, like they're in love with you. It's like, as soon as you don't want this anymore, here they come. Like, I can see that Divine Feminine over here, like, I don't even think I want this anymore. And your Divine Masculine feels that energetically. Um, and they're, like, running in. They need it now, okay? Like, they need to tell you how they feel. And they want this brand new beginning. <clears throat> it's like they want to work with you now, okay? Um, and it's like, because you've pulled your energy away... You're not going to expect this at all. It's like, you're just going to be like, oh, okay, now. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo here. Strong Leo or Scorpio. Um, but that's all I have for you guys. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.